Hello, everyone, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. You know, it's quite unfortunate and funny, I may add, just how much a lot of women are out here switching up their tunes now that men are letting them do what they said that they wanted to do which is to be strong, independent, boss chicks, right? A lot of women have fought for decades, right? To do it all on their own, to be the one that was in the quote unquote dominant leading position, being the ones that are the most powerful and empowered, correct? So now that men are like, okay, you got it. You can be your own boss. You can be by yourself. You can be independent. You don't need me. You're absolutely right. Now we're feeling the effects of that. See, oftentimes when it comes to women, we underestimate just how much of a responsibility it can be being that person that is in charge or that is the leader or the provider, the protector, right? We really have it in our minds like, no, I can do that. Anything that these men can do, I can do better. But see, there are roles. There are certain things that women just cannot do to the same capacity or the same extent that men can do it. And vice versa. But I just really find it, again, very unfortunate and a little bit hilarious how we try to compete with men by doing the things that they are naturally designed to do and be, which are leaders. Which are the ones that are going to work. They're the ones building and establishing the foundation making sure that everything is in alignment and everything is moving accordingly. We thought we could do it too, ladies. You all, I came across this video right here and I believe it's by the latest juice. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I came across this platform. I believe the name of it was the, the latest juice. And they put together a compilation of women from all different backgrounds, all different races that had the same complaint. The same complaint of I'm done being strong and independent. I need help. In so many words, a lot of these females were saying, I'm done be trying to be a man. I'm, I'm done trying to do what a man does. I'm not built for it. I need a man to actually take on this responsibility and this role. I had it all messed up. As a woman, I'm just not designed to do this type of work, to be in this type of position. And I need help. Let's play. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. When I came across this, I said, you know what? Uh, uh, uh. How the tables turn and the bridges burn. We told y'all so. Before we press play, let me say this. I keep telling y'all I told y'all so. And it feels good. And it's a little bit bittersweet for me because on one hand, it's like I told you and I was right. When I was out here telling these women, hey, stop trying to be a man. Stop trying to compete with men. Be complimentary to the man. Be of assistance. Y'all said that I was weak, inferior, dumb, deaf, 
blind. I didn't know what I was talking about. I was a pick me. You name it. Y'all call me that. Y'all came at my throat. And so, yeah, it is a little bit bittersweet for me because on one hand, I am able to tell you I was right and I told you so. But then on the flip side, it's like, I hate this for my sisters. I hate this for women because I know a lot of you all have just done too much damage and men are just done with it. They're not even going to attempt to come back to the table and help you. That's tragic. For years, men have been asking us, hey, what do you bring to the table? What do I get out of collaborating with you, taking you under my wing, taking care of you, providing for you, protecting you? What do I get out of this? And so many women argued up and down, talking about I don't bring nothing to the table. I am the table. The man is supposed to do everything for me. I am the prize. And now that life is beating y'all up now y'all are coming to the table like what do you want me to bring and now men are so good by themselves that they don't want you to bring anything to the table the table has already been built it has already been set you know they're already eating so i don't need anything from you we didn't understand the amount of love that men really have for us. Because to be honest, men don't need us to survive and thrive. Men were perfectly capable and able of, again, building their own tables, setting their own tables, buying their own food, cooking their own food, or hiring somebody else to do it. Like they were already made a lot of the time. So, when they were asking us, hey, what do you bring to the table? That was for you to show and prove your value to him because, again, he can do it by himself. But if you're going to be here, I'm going to need you to do something. Right? Because, again, men love women. We just keep it playing. Men love women. And so if they could try to find some way to incorporate us to be a part of their equation and a part of their programs, they will do that. But a lot of us, it's like, oh, um, I'm not going to do anything. Your program needs to be working around me. Your equation needs to subtract me being able to, or required to rather, doing things. Because again, I'm the prize. But see, men, with their genuine love and care for women, were like, you know what? Look, I love women. Uh, I love the company of women. You know, I feel good when I am able to be of service to a woman. So how can I incorporate her into my life? How can I be somebody that is of value to her life? Because again, men love to be needed. Men love to feel needed. The issue was us as women, we were like, look, I don't want to do anything. Don't require me to do anything. And with a lot of us possessing the type of mentality and, you know, conducting ourselves in that manner, a lot of men were just like, you know what, although I love women and I would love to have women to be a part of my life. Um, there's no real use or necessity for her because she's not trying to contribute to my life and add on in any way of value. It's a one-way ticket. She gets everything from me while I get nothing in return. So I would just rather not. As much as I love women, as much as I love the company of a woman, if I'm not able to pull any kind of value out of her, any kind of utility out of her, what do I really need her for? And that, ma'ams, is what really set us up for failure. But look at us now. On one hand, we wanted to be stronger, independent, and bosses. And then when it came to men being a part of our lives, we wanted to be lazy. We wanted to be taken care of while, again, offering nothing in return. 
So on both ends, it was just a double-edged sword for us. And look at us now. Let's get into it, though. And again, y'all like the video. I'm not a strong, independent woman, okay? Uh, I need a man. I can't, no, I can't open the can. I this can't. is our soft life era. We don't want to do it all. She don't want to be a strong black woman. No. I don't want to be super mom. No. We need help. They lied to us. Help. Miss Independent. Well, well, who that? Who? Where they do that at? Not help. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I told y'all. They lied to y'all. What did she say? She said, they lied to us. I need a man. But when I was telling y'all that for years, y'all were telling me that I was lying to y'all, that I was the one setting y'all up for failure, that I was the one teaching y'all to settle, that I was setting women back. Looks like you all are actually the ones that set yourselves back. Because have you all implemented the same things that I was telling you to implement way back when? You will be a lot further in life. I was telling y'all, hey, get with a man that is productive, that is ambitious, that is wise, intelligent, that loves you, respects you, honors you. Build with him. Listen to him. Play your role as far as being supportive to that man. Love that man. And watch him take care of you. Watch you all flourish. I told y'all that. And y'all told me I didn't know what I was talking about. And all the women that were telling you the exact opposite, they were the ones giving you the gospel. They were the ones helping you. They were the ones giving you that truth. But when it came to me, oh, no, don't listen to her. And look at you now. You could have been a lot further in your lives had you listened to me. But again, you know, you didn't believe me when I was telling y'all that they were telling y'all lies. Let's play it again. And y'all like the video? This is some real talk. Look at how these females are suffering and struggling now. The sisterhood lied. That's all that they do. Listen. I'm not a strong, independent woman, okay? Uh, I need a man. I can't, no, I can't open the can. I this can't. is our soft life era. We don't want to do it all. She don't want to be a strong black woman. No. I don't want to be super mom. No. Did y'all hear that? She said, look, we don't want to be strong and independent no more. She don't want to be a strong black woman. I don't want to be super mom. What does that imply? That implies that she needs a step daddy. And a lot of men are especially done with that. You have to be an exceptional woman these days for a man to say, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But a lot of men, and trust me, I got a lot of my brothers that rock with me heavy on my platform. So I know they're telling their little big sister, which is me. Yeah, I ain't signing up to raise somebody else's child. I'm not doing it. It's a thankless job. And I don't blame them. I don't. But how many women are out there saying, oh, no, I can raise my kids by myself. Or how many women do you see out there today? Ebony K, right? That are trying to be super moms willingly starting their families alone. They're telling you, Ebony K's of the world. Yeah, that's not a good deal. It's a lot that goes into raising a child. You're going to need help. That child is going to need a mother and a father. I ain't built for this. So what are you strong, independent boss chicks that are ready and willing to sign up to be single parents on your own? What are y'all going to do when your reality sets in that, hey, this is difficult. I'm not built to do this by myself. I'm not built to go out there and be able to provide for a child and myself, protect the child and myself, and still be the boss, and still be able to run a business. Uh-uh, not by myself, I'm not. So what are y'all going to do when that rude reality slaps you in the face? Because you're not going to have anybody around to help you. 
Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. This is some real talk. This is not a game. This is real life. And so many of y'all females are out here having to learn the hard way once all of the damage is already done. Who's going to want to sign up to be a part of your equation when you're older and you're more than likely stuck in your ways and you have all of this extra baggage, all of this debt, children? Who, who's going to want to sign up for that? When they can get somebody else that is more youthful, more moldable, more teachable, childless. Like who, why, why would somebody settle for you? Because that's what it is. It's a settle. But these females will say, well, um, because I'm more seasoned and I know what I need to do. No, you know what you need to do for you. But a lot of y'all have never been in a relationship with a man long enough to really understand what that entails and what that looks like. Y'all don't know how to collaborate effectively as a unit within the confines of a relationship. Y'all don't know what that looks like. Y'all don't even understand what it is to play the role of a woman because y'all are so accustomed to being bosses and running things by yourself. Would you even know how to take direction and correction? Let's get into it. Just some real talking, your little big sis. I hate that y'all keep learning the hard way that, look, it's real out here. I should have listened. We need help. They lied to us. Help. Miss Independent. Well, well, who that? Who? Where they do that at? Not here. You know, I don't want to be a strong, independent woman. I think we have enough strong, independent women. I'm going to take it to the next level. I want to be a mushy, soft, relaxed, taken care of as fuck woman. Like 30 people on my team, people opening doors for me, making me dinner, waking me up in the morning, massaging my feet kind of woman, you know, self-serving, loving, juicy embodied deliciously feminine kind of woman i think we know at this point we're strong we've got to be independent of course i can take care of myself now i want to be taken care of i want to need my man i want to be wined and dined by my man by my king and the queen hi again you again this is showing and proving that it has no age it has no color it has no background it has no ethnicity yeah all of these women that wanted to be strong and independent they're all feeling it now i want to take it back with her right because a lot of them when you really listen and peel back the layers to what they're really saying they're really saying that I want to be lazy now, right? Even the women earlier, right? To where they were like, look, you know, they lied to us and we need help. And she don't want to be a strong black woman. And I don't want to be a, a super mom. You know, I, I need a man. I need a man to do X, Y, and Z. I need a man. And then when we play her back, if you really listen, it's boiling down to, I want to be pampered and lazy. I don't want to do anything. You really hear it with this chick right here. Check this out, y'all. Really listen and peep game. And again, why would any man want to sign up to be a part of this? To where, you know, you're just desperate and lonely now looking for help. Who that? Who? Where they do that at? Not here. Listen. You know, I don't want to be a strong, independent woman. I think we have enough strong, independent women. I'm going to take it to the next level. I want to be a mushy, soft, relaxed, taken care of as fuck woman. Like 30 people on my team, people opening doors for me, making me dinner. Keep the game. 
she is not saying that she wants to be, you know, the traditional type of woman that, you know, understands the roles within a relationship to where I cater to the man. You know, I do my womanly, wifely duties. You know, I, you know, do things around the house like cook and clean and, you know, be submissive, respect my husband, respect the man that I'm with. He be the king, I be the queen. She's not saying that. If you listen closely, she is saying, look, I want to be lazy. No, I don't want to do the traditional roles as far as cooking and cleaning and, you know, catering to a man, submitting to a man. No. I want 30 people looking after me like I'm a damn child. I need people opening the door up for me like I am the royal queen. No, I'm not going to cook. Uh-uh. I want other people making dinner for me. So when you listen to her, like she's really saying, you know, I, I just want to be pampered, spoiled, and lazy by a man. Whatever man that I get with, yeah, I, I need to be able to be lazy with him and, and have everything done for me. Everybody wait around on me. Everybody tend to my needs. You hear nothing about really much that she's going to do in exchange or in return for all of these things being done for her. Let's continue. Like the video. Waking me up in the morning, massaging my feet kind of woman, you know, self-serving, loving, juicy, embodied, deliciously feminine kind of woman. Self-serving? That's, that told you everything you need to know. I think we know at this point we're strong. We've got to be independent. Of course I can take care of myself. Now I want to be taken care of. Oh, that right there is what a lot of these females are looking for. They are wanting to be taken care of like children. I want to be lazy now. I've worked so much and ran myself so much down to the damn bone that I'm just so worn out. I need somebody to carry me moving forward. And that's the issue that they're going to run into constantly because men are not coming to save you. Men are not coming to be your cleanup men. That's a wrap. Men are not coming to be your servants. Your paychecks. Hell no. Nah. You're a grown woman, right? You've been being strong and independent this whole time. You've been working. You've been doing things for yourself. So what makes this any different? Continue to do things. Continue to work. Continue to not only do things for yourself, but me also, since you are requiring me to take care of you. But they're not looking for a relationship that is built on reciprocity, respect, love. No, it's solely looking for somebody to take care of you, to do everything for you. You reap all the benefits and they get, I guess, your presence. And again, who's signing up for that? Because the men are not, which is why a lot of y'all are left stranded single, unhappy, miserable, and begging. Begging for men to come back and take care of you. Begging for men to take you seriously. Begging men to help you. Begging men to be the stepdaddies to your children that are not his. Just begging. Because who in their right minds would say, you know what, I I'll, I'll go ahead and sign up to do that. Lord, let's continue. I want to need my man. I want to need my man. But newsflash, ladies, these men have come to realize they don't need you. They don't want you because they get nothing out of you. I want to be wined and dined by my man, by my king. And, and, and what does he get? Queen. 
What does the man get? Did y'all hear anything that she said as far as what she is ready and willing to contribute to that man's life? That is wanting and dining her, giving her a whole entourage of people to take care of her and open doors and cook her dinner. Like, did she even say anything about what she's going to do for that man? All I heard was, I'm the queen. He's my king. She went into no detail about what she is going to be required or expected to do. And that, ladies, is what's going to keep y'all exactly where you are. Because there's no perk or benefit. A man gets absolutely no perk and benefit of being with you. Just a bunch of demands, commands, and laziness. Let's continue. When you see more videos like this, you begin to wonder, aren't these the same women who fought tooth and nail to be independent boss ladies? Aren't these the same women who said men are no longer important to society? Oh yes, it's these same modern women. But why are they going back on their statement now? Why are they not interested in being strong, independent women anymore? This is what this video will be telling you about today. The quote, you never know what you have till it's gone. Always rings to my ears whenever I see women complain about things like this. I'm sure that if everyone had a chance to just sit down, be taken care of and properly catered for, while all you had to do was basic things like cleaning, washing, and other simple chores, everyone would agree to that in a jiffy. This is what these women had. Men were ready to cater for them, take care of them, and build a home with them, and all they had to do was be their feminine self and take care of their home. Then one day, they decided they didn't want that. They wanted to be powerful. They wanted to be men. Oh, let's pause there. Really peep the gang, you all. We failed miserably at the assignment, and the assignment was extremely easy. It is things that we do anyway. Cook, clean. Just basic basic necessities men were expecting for us to do while they took care of everything but here we go with our humongous egos oh no i'm i'm more than just that i'm a boss chick whatever that man can do i can do matter of fact i don't even need no man so we went out there trying to be the men and played ourselves something terribly play the hell out of ourselves even tricked other women out of their spots and positions by convincing them that they were playing themselves by having such a setup and dynamic now he said anybody in their right mind would want to sign up to do that you mean to tell me all i gotta do is be essentially respectful cook clean be loving be a, a decent human being, and I'm going to have somebody to provide for me, protect me, lead me, teach me, love me, give me good sex. You mean I get to get all of that, and all I got to do is these basic things that I should be doing anyway? <laughs> Sign me up. But we fumbled. Trying to be men, we fumbled. And a lot of y'all would like to argue that, you know, I wasn't trying to be no man, but you are. Like, let's really analyze this. We went out trying to do the same jobs that these men were doing, trying to play the same roles as these men as far as um, the households are concerned. Like, we really were trying to be men while abandoning what it was to be a woman. Now, since we are out here trying to beat men at their own game, as far as what they are naturally designed to do and be, we're losing. How you gonna try to beat somebody as something that they are naturally designed to do and be? This is his makeup. You couldn't have beat him if you wanted to. You couldn't compete with him if you wanted to. Sorry you had to find out the hard way, but yeah. 
What did you expect? Trying to be men and we keep getting played. Trying to do everything that men do. Congratulations, ladies. You played yourself. Let's continue to some real talk. It's almost like the story of the prodigal son in the Bible. Like the younger son who left his father and journeyed far away to be alone, women decided to leave men, to leave tradition and be alone. At the first instant, it always seems like a good decision. Ah, yes, I do not need to cook for any man now except for myself. I can stay out late for as long as I want without any man cautioning me or complaining about it. That's how it feels at first. But soon, when the rigorous parts come in, the heavy lifting, the car fixing, the late night driving, the protection, the part where if they had a man, he would just swoop in and save the day, they realize they are failing at being independent. You see, I'm not even against gender equality, even though realistically, it is impossible to achieve. I'm all in support of women who say they are feminists and want to be independent. It's cool. But when things get inconvenient, do you stay a feminist or you quickly turn into a damsel in distress? Honestly, there are just some things meant for men to do, and some things meant for women to do. There are roles in the society designed for different genders to play, but these woke feminists do not just get it. In fact, what they do is not even feminism anymore. They have forgotten what the idea of feminism truly is, and it is just misandry, men-hating at this point. You pick up your phone, go through social media, and see these women go on and on about how useless men are and how they could survive without men. Like always, we men are not the type to whine, complain, or make videos about us being abused or deemed useless online. We slowly withdraw. Ooh. Ooh. I need y'all to really let that marinate what he just said. It was no lies detected at all. Y'all like the video. No lies detected at all. And the crazy thing is, a lot of guys out there are not opposed to women, you know, being free, if you will. Having rights, working. No, no, no man has a problem with that. But what they do have an issue with is the outright disrespect that a lot of females are out here inflicting upon men. Like, yeah, go ahead, do that. Go ahead and be a boss. Go ahead and work if you want to. Go ahead and get your bag, go ahead. Nobody's stopping you, nobody's even mad at that. But why do you have to disrespect me in the midst of it? Just go and do you. But every time men turn around, not only are y'all out here disrespecting them, neglecting them but then you want to get mad when they don't protect you when they don't want you uh-oh and what he said was look we're not even out here throwing a fit about the amount of disrespect that we you know endure we're not even doing that he said we just solemnly walk away Let's play that part one more time. Y'all like the video. Th this was some real talk right here. He said men are not even the type to go out here complaining. We just take it. It really is. And it is just misandry. Men hating at this point. You pick up your phone, go through social media, and see these women go on and on about how useless men are and how they could survive without men. Like always, we men are not the type to whine complain or make videos about us being abused or deemed useless online. We slowly withdraw. That's what he said. That's that's all real talk. He said, yeah, and you know, y'all talk so badly about us men all day, every day, day in and day out. And we're not even complaining about it. We just let y'all do you. All we do is withdraw and walk away. And that's exactly what men have been doing in mass and y'all can't take it. Men are not going back and forth with you and arguing with you, trying to convince you that they are needed. 
convince you that they are of value and, and worthy. No, they're not doing that. What they did was show and prove to you just how much you could not handle their jobs. You want to be the leader? Do you know what being the leader truly looks like? You know how hard it is to be a leader? To have everything on your back and on your shoulders and you got to carry it and not cry, not complain. Oh, you just thought this was a free ride. You thought being a boss was something just easy. Ladies, we have no idea how much of a taxing job it is to play the role of a man until we find out the hard way, like we keep doing. Men make it look easy because, again, they're designed and built for it. But by no stretch of the imagination is it something that's just an easy task. It's very stressful being a man and doing what a man does. You found out, didn't you ladies? And what I really hate about it is the fact that a lot of you all will have to continuously play that role of the man that you try to be for the rest of your life. There's no tagging a man in now. There's no, oh, I learned the hard way. I learned my lesson. Yeah, I'm ready to go ahead and do what a woman does now. No, a lot of y'all will be stuck because men will not touch you. And I hate that for you. But I tried to warn you. I tried. You didn't listen. Now you're stuck trying to play that position that, again, you were not designed to do, not designed to be. And if it's stressful on a man, can you imagine what type of stress that will place on a woman? Mm. Hate that for you. But again, this is what y'all did. I just thought I would come on here and share this horrendous news with you all. Um, yeah, all day, every day, we just keep seeing proof, evidence of these women struggling and all of their talking points as far as they strong, they independent, these men are worthless, we don't need these men backfiring on them. It's one thing to talk about it, and it's another thing to be about it. And y'all were talking, all of this mess and now your life is a mess and you're wanting the same people that you disrespected to come through and help you and they're not i love y'all i respect y'all i'll see y'all in the next dope discussion y'all like the video should the video subscribe let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comment section down below and i'll see y'all in the next one much love and peace to my crown heads <laughs>